skeins of yarn am I going to need to make that blanket? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm actually going to be answering a question that I get on a pretty regular basis. And that question is, how many skeins or how many balls of yarn do I need in order to make this blanket? Now, sometimes that question is really easy for me to answer. And other times that question is pretty impossible for me to answer. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday, covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out, especially if I slip in a video in the middle of the week. And if you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss it. So make sure that you're subscribed, you hit that bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. So instead, to, instead of me, struggling to answer your question or instead of you needing to ask me that question anymore I figured why don't I just teach you the formula on how many skeins you are going to need in order to make any size blanket in any pattern with any yarn and I can't wait to share this with you because it's so empowering and it works every time. There are actually two different methods that you can use to figure out how much yarn you're going to need to complete a blanket. The first is the, is the use of a swatch. If you're unfamiliar what a swatch is, it's just a four inch wide by four inch tall perfect square section of the pattern that you want to use that way you can figure out so much information you can figure out how many chains you will need in the foundation row how many rows you're going to need to accomplish a certain length and it can also tell you how much yarn you're going to need to accomplish a project there's just a lot of math involved in that so i came up with the second strategy that i will be teaching you and the only things that you need to commit to for this second strategy is you need to commit to a pattern, you need to commit to a, a yarn, what yarn you want to use, preferable, preferably keep that yarn consistent, the same brand through the entire project. That way you know after using this formula, I need six skeins of this one yarn to finish this blanket. But if you have three different yarns you want to use and each brand has a different amount of yarn in its skein, then you'll need more math in order to figure out, okay, these are what I want to use. This is how much yarn I need for the project, and then I got to divide, and it's just more. Keep it simple for yourself. Commit to a yarn that you want to use for your blanket, and then try to stick with that same brand or that same yarn size through the entire blanket, okay? And lastly, try to stick to the same crochet hook through the entire body of the work. If you are somebody that uses a larger crochet hook for your foundation row, and then for row one, you use the smaller crochet hook that is recommended by your yarn label size. That's a great strategy. Absolutely do this strategy to help you with tension and getting through your foundation row. That way it's easier to work in those chains. But in the body of your blanket, try to use the exact same crochet hook just for consistency. All right, now that you have found what pattern that you want to use for your blanket, you have found the yarn that you're really excited to use for your blanket, and you've picked out what crochet hook that you would like to use for your blanket, we need to figure out what size blanket do you even want to make. So here's a chart that I refer to quite often that has all the blanket sizes on there. It shows you how wide the blanket needs to be and how long that blanket needs to be in order to meet that blanket's dimension. This is super helpful so you're not just going and then randomly making some random size or what I would always do was make it too big. I always did that, always made my blankets too big because I didn't have anything to reference. Well, here, I'm going to include this chart in the notes section, comment section for you. So all you have to do is click on that and print it off. And then you have a reference for yourself on any blanket that you would like to make. Now we are ready for my formula. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take the yarn that you want to use. You're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to take a measuring tape or some kind of ruler or something to measure with. And you're going to start your foundation row chain and you're going to make your foundation row chain probably about two, three inches past how long your blanket shows that you should make your foundation row in order to meet that blanket dimension. 
Now, you gotta be careful with this. Sometimes you need to make two, three rows of your blanket and then check to make sure that you are making you are meeting blanket dimension because in the process of crocheting your stitches, that foundation row may shrink. I actually have this example blanket. It's a little sneak peek of a tutorial that is coming. So I am doing a, it is like a ripple blanket. It's called a sharp chevron, but it looks like a ripple blanket because it has that wave when I first made my foundation row chain and my foundation row chain was flat and then I went to make the ripple, this ripple made my foundation, the length of my blanket shrink significantly. So I couldn't actually take dimension of my blanket until I was two, three rows into the blanket to see how long it was actually turning out. And that's how I was able to take my width dimension and then figure out, oh, I have met my width dimension or I'm short. And then I'd have to go back and add more chains to my foundation row and, and then crochet two rows and then remeasure to see, okay, have I, have I met blanket width dimension yet? And when I finally did, then I was able to just continue making row after row after row, working on my blanket length dimension. If you would like more information on meeting blanket dimensions, I did actually make a tutorial on that. All you have to do is click on that link right there at the top of the screen. Watch that video. It's actually really helpful and I hope you think so too. I really do hope that you watch that video because it does help with understanding how to meet blanket width dimension and blanket height dimension. All right. So second step of this formula is once you have made your foundation row, you've, you're, you're meeting blanket width dimension, now I need you to just keep crocheting row after row after row using up that entire skein of yarn. We only, we're only working with one, one skein of yarn, okay? But I want you to continue working this blanket until that entire skein of yarn that you want to use on this blanket is gone. And step three is to measure. For step three of this formula, you just need to measure out how long one skein of yarn was able to measure out to. So in this particular example, I used just one skein of yarn and this skein changed colors all on its own. So don't think, oh, she changed colors per row. What is she doing? No, this yarn, this one skein, did the color changes on its own. This right here is one skein of yarn. I crocheted until I completely ran out of yarn, and now I'm able to measure. When you measure, you need to measure from the very bottom of the blanket all the way to the very last fully completed row. Notice that I'm not measuring over here where there is more yarn, there's another row started. I am not going to include the row that is unfinished in my dimension, in my measurements. So even if I had crocheted this last row all the way up till here, so I'm really close to making it to the end of this row, but I didn't get there. My yarn would, my, my stitches would stop abruptly right here. I would not count this last row because it's an incomplete row. So you only wanna measure up to the last fully completed row. Start measure from the very bottom all the way to the very top. And I measure up to 10 and a half inches tall or long. So I grab my piece of paper and I write 10.5 inches tall from one skein of yarn. Okay. So up here you will see I've already committed, I chose what blanket that I wanted to make. I'm making a small throw blanket, which will inevitably be a baby blanket, but I just wanted to make it a little bit bigger. It needs to be 52 inches wide by 60 inches long in order to meet blanket dimension. 
This is the yarn that I committed to. It was a size three weight, lightweight yarn. And then 10.5 inches is how many inches long I was able to get into my blanket with just one skein of yarn. So then I look at this number right here, how long this blanket needs to be in order to meet its blanket dimension. So I take 60 inches. I divide 60 inches by how many inches I was able to make with just one skein of yarn. And that equals, I already did the math, it comes to 5.71 inches. Now I can't go by a partial skein of yarn. So I'm going to have to round that up to six skeins. It'll take me about six skeins of yarn to make my blanket using the yarn that I chose to use, okay? Now this is fantastic. That's all you need to know in order to know how many skeins of yarn or how many balls of yarn you need of the skein of yarn that you want to use to make your blanket. That is it. Now, for more information, what I do in order to help change the dimension up for you, some people will ask me, okay, how many yards do I need? Some people will ask me, how many meters do I need? Some people ask me, how many ounces of yarn do I need? And some people will ask me, how many grams of yarn do I need? Depending on where you are in the world, this is how your yarn label, how your yarn is purchased. And that's great. This is how I figure it out for you. So I look at my yarn label. Now my yarn label is fortunate enough to have all of these measurements on the skein. So I know with one skein of yarn, there was roughly 590 yards. There was roughly 540 meters. 5.3 ounces and 150 grams. Then I look up here and it said in order for me to make this blanket, I needed six skeins. So I multiply my yards by six and that will tell me how many total yards of a size three weight yarn it will take to make this particular blanket. Okay, same with meters. The total, oops, the total amount of meters, same thing with ounces, total amount of ounces, and same thing with grams. The total grams you will need to make, uh, or this size yarn, to make this blanket. Okay, so this comes in handy when I am looking at something like this, and I'm like, oh, I found this yarn. It is also a size three weight yarn. How many of these will I need to make this size blanket? Okay, well, I come over here, I look. Okay, so this is how many yards, this is how many meters, ounces, grams. I look at this yarn label, and here it says, well, in this big mega ball, it has this many grams, this many ounces, this many meters, and this many yards in this one skein, and I am then able to find out, yay, I know now how many skeins of yarn I will need to make this blanket. Isn't that awesome? That's all you need to know. Now, if you decide you wanna make this blanket, this small throw blanket, this same pattern that I used in the tutorial, but you want to use maybe a size five weight, bulky, chunky, yarn. You're like, I want to do this blanket, but I want to use a size five bulky, chunky weight yarn. Then you will need to go back and repeat the process. Okay. Take that one skein of bulky, chunky weight yarn that you want to use. Step one, make your foundation row chain. Make sure you are meeting dimension and you're meeting your stitch count requirement. Two, crochet rows until you run out of, of your yarn. Three is then measure how long you were able to get with just one skein of yarn. And then four, do the math. Divide the total length that that blanket needs to be 
by how many inches long you were able to make with that one skein of yarn. And that will tell you how many skeins you will need. This process works with any pattern, with any yarn, and with any blanket size, okay? And that's what makes this so great if you are choosing to use a very intricate pattern or even a very simple pattern or a pattern that's wavy or a pattern that is filet and filled with holes. <laughs> you know, any type of pattern that you want to make Use this formula and it will tell you how many skeins of that yarn you will need to finish your blanket project. I'm so excited. I really hope this was helpful. I will include in the notes section and the description section a piece of paper. I actually made a document with this formula all typed out on it. So don't worry about writing anything down or screenshots or anything. At the end of this document, I have the formula uh, also a, a plug and play where it asks you what blanket size do you want to make? What yarn are you planning on making? What crochet hook size? And then it asks you, okay, what was the length that came out? And now divide total length by the length of the pattern you were able to accomplish with just one skein of yarn. So that whole process is all created for you on this one document. I will put it in the comment section and the notes section. So again, all you have to do is click it, print it, print a couple of them out for yourself so you can have a couple on hand. But this really helps me out a lot and I hope it helps you out too. All right, now you know my secret formula on how I figure out exactly how many skeins of yarn I am going to need in order to make any blanket. I really hope you found the information helpful. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really do hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.